Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tanil, and welcome to my channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video. And for those of you who have been here before, welcome back. You guys, I am back today with another reaction video. Today I have Tom Segura, my crackhead Uber driver. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't wait to hear this story because my Lord, I have some Uber and Lyft stories. But before we jump into today's video, you guys, you know, I have to say thank you so much for all the love and support that you continue to show me across all of my platforms. Now, if you have not joined me on OnlyFans, Instagram, TikTok, or Patreon, all of that information is in the description box below. Also, guys, don't forget, I want you to come party with me in Miami next month, May 14th. I will be one of the hosts for the Babes in Toyland charity event benefiting homeless animals. You guys, if you're in Miami and you'd like a chance to see me in person, party with me and support a good cause, you guys get your tickets and tables now. All that information is in the description box below. All right, I have today's video. So guys, let's go ahead and check it out. I get in the car, he goes, is the temperature all right, sir? I go, it's fine. He goes, would you like a bottle of water, sir? And I go, you don't have to call me sir. You can just call me Tom. And at that moment, all of his professionalism went out the window. The very next thing he said was, uh, you smoke weed? <laughs> and I was like, I mean, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> and he goes, do you want to smoke some now? Oh my God, what's the and I was like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think my driver should be offering me, you know? Right, right. He doesn't miss a beat. He opens the console, he takes out a joint, he lights it, he passes it back. Mm -hmm. I hit it out of respect, right, because he's old. <laughs> Then I give it back to him, and the next thing he says is, uh, yeah, I can't drive unless I'm fucked up. Oh, my God. I'm like, do you hear what you oh, just no. said? And he goes, yeah, I'm ripped right now. I'm like, well, hands on 10 and 2, motherfucker. Like, keep it together. Hands on 10 and 2. He goes, does that all you do? Smoke weed? I can handle a guy that smokes weed. He goes, well, I love it all. I'm like, what's all? <laughs> That's a broad statement. He goes, I love coke. I love heroin. But there's nothing like smoking rocks. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Like, no, he I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Mind you, this is while he's driving. So it's actually like, I love smoking rocks, man. You know, I'm like, dude, turn around. <laughs> like, Can I ask oh you something? God. He goes, yeah, what's up? I go, what's it like to smoke rocks? I've never done that before. Mm -hmm. And he goes, uh, Is that the whole thing? Is that it? He goes, that shit is the best. Uh, and what I like to do personally is I like to sit in my apartment and fire them up. And then I look out the peephole. <laughs> and I watch people walk around. Oh my God. And I just freak the fuck out. How is that About fun? what's going to happen next. <laughs> and then he gave me a head nod like, doesn't that sound awesome? No. I was like, dude, that sounds terrible. <laughs> that's called a panic attack. And that's a horrible sales pitch for crap. <laughs> now I'm definitely not going to try it. We pulled oh to the airport. God. I go, it's none of my business. But I think you're too old to be messing with all these drugs. He goes, I don't do it anymore. Tom. Tom. Yeah, it was sir at the top of the room. Right. Ride. Now it's Tom, you piece of shit. <laughs> I don't do it anymore. I did it when I was younger. I go, all right. Oh my he goes, I mean, I still do it every once in a while. <laughs> but you know what they say. If you do something every once in a while, it's not that bad for you. And I was like, dude, I think they mean that about, like, pizza and chocolate. <laughs> right. Nobody ever knew that for crack. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You guys, Tom Sabora, he literally is <laughs> one of the comedians that puts me in stitches. I'm like snorting and spitting because his storytelling is the best. I mean, it's the best. <laughs> oh my God. He really meant his crackhead Uber driver. Why does it seem like I've watched this one? I know I haven't, but I think I've seen or watched a couple of clips from that actual, that from that special. I don't know. I can't think of it, but <laughs> Uber and Lyft stories. I won't tell but one, but one night, and the reason why I'm going to tell this one is because it sticks out, like, it's crazy. Now, I've had several 
crazy stories. Other people that I know have told me some crazy Uber and Lyft stories, but the one that really sticks out for me is a couple years ago, my friend and I, we were getting ready to go out. We were going downtown and we were in Houston. We called a Lyft. Uh, she comes and she picks us up. We're driving on the freeway and my friend had said something about uh, oh, the lady was driving really fast. That's what it was. That's how it started. Like she was driving like super fast. Like she was speeding. We're on the freeway and she's she's speeding and she's driving like crazy. She's going in and out of traffic, like no signal. And my friend said something to me, not even to her. She just said something like, whoa, oh my God, this lady in the middle of the freeway, like goes from 85 like almost slams on the brakes. She goes from like 85 to like 20 within seconds. I mean, she could have gotten us killed. And she looks in her mirror, her, her rear view mirror, and she's like, excuse me, do you have a problem with my driving? I will pull over on the side of the road right now. My friend's like, um, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to my friend. And she goes, I don't care who you were talking to. If you have a problem with my driving, you should have driven yourself to this club wherever you're going. And this woman had the worst attitude. She's just like constantly talking crap to my friend. And I said, hey, 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 calm down. She's not saying anything about you driving. So I'm like trying to get this woman to calm down because my life is literally like in her hands. Because as she's looking in her rearview mirror, she's still, she's, she's flooring it again. Like I said, she slowed down, like almost slammed on her brakes on the highway. And then she just speeds right back up and constantly talking crap. Like, uh, you don't get in my car and disrespect me. Oh, I hear you mumbling under your breath and blah, 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 blah. This lady was nuts. She was batshit crazy. Of course, I gave her like one star, wrote her up, you know, like I sent Uber this long email. I'm like, no, that is unacceptable. I, ugh, oh my God, it was crazy. Cause I thought she was gonna kill us. Like, um, you don't know what somebody's thinking or what they're going through. So it's like, okay, I just want to keep this lady calm because I don't want her to run off the road with us in the car. Yeah, but I have lots of Uber stories. I, I won't tell them all. But if you guys have any great Uber or Lyft stories, share them with us in the comment section below, you guys. And if you enjoyed my reaction, please be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And if you have something you'd like to see me react to, guys, send it to my email, justnil at gmail.com. Um, you guys, don't forget to follow me on all of my other platforms. Uh, all that information is in the description box below. God, that was so funny. I'm just thinking about all the other crazy stories that I could tell. Anyway, <laughs> all right, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye. God, cross my line for profit. Never that pride too high to be honest. Gold mine all of my blood. My whole mind harmonized with the cosmic. I get signs from the gods hella often. I cause I fight so hard, keep caution. Never that faith in the path.